Hello, thank you for tuning into my channel. This is Vlogmas in July 2022, day 11, and we're going to be back with the Starlight Star Bright Quilt. So, if you want to see how to make Aunt Eliza's star, please stay tuned. for tuning in to Vlogmas in July. This is day 11 and we are finally back to the Starlight Star Bright Quilt. There is a new block that I want to introduce today and then there's going to be one more block uh, within the next couple weeks. Then the, the quilt will be finished. If you're new to my channel, this is a sew along or quilt along that's been going on for several months. I've been uh, most of the time doing one block a month but I didn't do one for June so we're going to get all caught up. Um, I might not have done one for May either. I don't remember. Um, but it's been a little bit since I've done one of these blocks. So I've done, um, what I did was I pulled some inspiration from this book. This is the block a day book. It says 365 quilting squares for patchwork inspiration. And so it's by uh, Lucinda Ganderton. There are, as I said, 365 designs in this book and she, um, has patterns for each block. What I've done is I've taken these blocks and um, we're in the book, they're finish, finishing at 12 inches. My blocks are gonna finish at 15 inches. So I've made this, um, I've expanded the blocks just a little bit bigger so I can have a, a slightly bigger quilt. I've also chosen um, specific blocks out of the book. All of these blocks are nine patch blocks and they're all star blocks. So um, as it stands now, I have the Friendship Star, the Free Willing Star, I might have to go back and remember these, the Ribbon Tail Star, the Two Way Star, Butterfly Star, Variable Star, and Open Star. Today, we're going to add Aunt Eliza Star, and this is the Aunt Eliza Star Block, and um, it's super simple to put together. So let's go in a little bit and we'll talk more about this. For this quilt, actually before I um, go into making the block, there will be a free download on my blog that you can go and get the pattern for this star. And once you get to my blog, there are patterns for each one of these stars, except for the open star. There is one little step that I can't figure out how to put it down on paper, but I'm gonna go back and um, try to get that up before the end of the week. So um, so you will have a download for Aunt Eliza Star in just a little bit, hopefully. Um, hopefully by the end of the day today. Um, but I have all my directions here, and so you can see the block is here. I have, um, this is mainly for the new folks, I have drawn out each design here. Um, I have a, a star drawing that I've done for each block as I've gone along. And the first block is the colorway that we're gonna to make today in blue. This, the red and black and gray, that's my practice block. So the blocks that you see here are all of the practice blocks and I'm gonna make my blue block today on camera so that you can check that out with me. Um, I want to show you that our last four blocks, um, the butterfly star, the variable star, open star, and Aunt Eliza star, excuse me, they are all basically the same pattern. So you can see that, I think it's really obvious to see here that there are five background squares. So one, two, three, four, five. And then the other squares are um, hourglass blocks. And for each of the stars, it's just a variation on that, um, on the, the colors. So here, the variation is that the, instead of having solid squares, there are half square triangles and an hourglass block in the center. Um, in this one, you can see that the center square contrasts from the other background squares surrounded by the hourglasses. In, in the open star, all of the um, hourglasses and the background squares have the same background fabric in them. And so that's what gives it a, an open look. And then they, um, 
for this block, we played around with the colors on the hourglasses to, um, to get a different look. And then for the last one that we're gonna make today, the hourglass has two contrasting fabrics in it. So these blocks are all pretty simple. I mean, they're all pretty simple to make, but as long as you are aware that these are the same, then it helps your technique to be, um, to match, or it gives you some ideas about how to play with the color to get a slightly different look. Now, if you'll notice, I don't know if you noticed this earlier, but when I made the, um, this star, I felt like it was a little bit dark compared to the other blocks. But now that I have this star, um, a little bit darker with the dark background and this dark gray and black, um, I really feel like I, I have some more co cohesion in my quilt. And then I may play a little bit more with that last block just to see um, what I can do with it to, I don't know, just to, to make it more appealing to my own eye. So today we're gonna work on, on this uh, block, Aunt Eliza Star in the blue. I'm gonna go over what you'll need for each, um, for each block and then we will start to sewing. The cutting for this block is very simple. I originally, when I was preparing for it, I actually cut twice as many of um, some of the, the squares. So I had to go back and I, I made double um, instead of just making what I actually need for this block. But um, I'm gonna go over it with you. Super simple for the cutting on this one. Now you'll see that we have um, our five background squares and I've cut those into, I've cut five of those and I've cut these at five and a half inches. And this is just a, a little, a, a white, it's a tone on tone and it has little tiny dots on it. I'm not sure how well you can see it on the camera, but there it is. And there are five of those, again, cut at five and a half inches. For our um, star points here, I have two blocks and they're both cut at six and a half inches. These are six and a half inch squares um, so this is what I'm going to use for the star points, this, uh, medium blue batik, I guess. Okay. And then for the inner square here, I'm going to use a little lighter, um, blue. And there's only one six and a half inch square of this one. And then one six and a half inch square of the outer, um, part of the hourglass as well. Okay, so for the background squares, there are five cut at five and a half, two of the star points cut at six and a half, and then one each of the inner part, portion of the hourglass and the outer portion of the hourglass. Now I'm going to take the um, my two star point blocks and I'm gonna draw a diagonal line from corner to corner on each one of these squares. So I'll do that right quick on camera so you can see it. Um, I probably, for this, I'm going to interchange using the light side and the dark side of my cutting mat just to see what you can see a little bit better. Let me, um, I'll go ahead and zoom in so you can see the, um, whenever I sew, I'll zoom in. But I will speed up Is that, um, as I sew because I am a slow sewist. So I'm just taking the, um, the star point squares and I'm drawing a diagonal line from corner to corner. The goal is to um, make some half square triangles with all of these. Okay, so I'm just drawing these diagonal lines. And on this one, my, um, it's a little, my fabric is a little darker, so be aware of that as you are choosing your fabrics, what marking tool you're gonna use for each one because you wanna be able to see this line on, um, on your fabric. So, I mean, I'm using a, a, just an ink pen and I can see it fine, so. But just be aware if you're gonna use a super dark fabric that you're gonna need to, um, you're gonna have to draw a line on the back of it or you can, um, you can just use the other two fabrics to, to draw. So I'm gonna take, now that I have my lines drawn, I mean, I wonder if I should zoom in so you can see that, but I think you've seen that before. Let's see, here. 
and you may not be able to see it well yeah I can see it on camera and then I'm gonna place these right sides together I'm gonna move my um the first step is actually to get rid of these to move your five and a half inch squares out of the way we don't need those right now okay so I'm gonna put these fabrics right sides together um, with each of the other squares and for my boutiques it doesn't really matter I'm just gonna um, I need to see the line okay so there's one and then here's the other one right side up and then right side down on the boutique I'm gonna stitch it one quarter inch on either side of this drawn line I'm gonna speed up the camera but I am gonna put it hopefully so you can see it my leader ender this time is my Pellon paper. I was working on the uh, postage stamp blocks, but I decided to push that aside for just right now. So I'm gonna move the camera over so that you can see me sewing, and, but I am gonna speed it up for this portion. now on either side of the drawn line you can see I'm using a lighter gray um, on my on this block because of the white background um, so now all I'm going to do is cut on the drawn line here and I'm going to do a few of these steps off camera but you can see this part already and then I'm going to cut the other one same thing okay all right, and then when you open these out, you should have one that has a star point with a darker, um, the darker hourglass side here. So there are two of these, and then two with the lighter side, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press all of these to the star point side, um, and I'm going to go ahead and square them to six inches. I'll do that off camera and I'll be right back. I have my half square triangles all um, pressed and squared and you might choose not to square your half square triangles here because they are gonna have to be squared again. I just choose to because I don't like the little triangles on the, um, on the edges. I don't like, they call them the dog ears. I don't like those so I, I get rid of them um, in the first step but it's up to you uh, that way you only have to square it once if you choose not to do that now I'm going to choose one set of half square triangles and I'm going to repeat that same process where I draw the diagonal line um, let me see I, again I'm using a pen just a regular ink pen and I've chosen the star points or the half square triangles that have the lighter fabric uh, so it's one star point and then one of the lighter fabric because i'm using that uh really dark blue as the other um as the other part of the hourglass blocks i feel like i won't be able to see that one well enough so i'm just going to mark a diagonal line and i'm going across the seam so the line is crossing the seam of course on this and I'll, um, I'll show you up close in just a minute what that looks like. Um, I'm sort of used to having my cameraman here, so um, I'm doing like some awkward zooming in, and that's okay. All right, so let's see. Maybe you can see it here on the camera, the diagonal line that goes here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this each one of these and put them right sides together with a different one okay so all right so these are going to go right sides together but the star points are going to oppose so i'm going to put it together like this and then that's going to accomplish two things the star points are going to oppose but also the seams are going to nest so i'm going to nest the seams on both of these 
And just like for the half square triangles, I'm gonna stitch on either side of the dotted line and I will do that on camera and just speed it up so you can see that. here let me show you this is one of them as I'm putting this together I'm a little bit concerned about the contrast of the star points and this darker blue hopefully it shows up nicely on camera but in person it, it seems a little um, I don't know it doesn't really work yet I'm, I'm ready to see it with the with the background and, and hopefully it'll work so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna square these off camera I'm gonna square them to five and a half inches uh, whether or not you square it on the last step this is gonna be the important step to square because you want this uh, you want these blocks to match the size of your background squares I expect that my blocks are just a little bit bigger than five and a half so I'm just gonna be taking some slivers off um, actually before I do that let me show you the back I have uh, swirled the seams so we pressed I pressed earlier to the um, the star points so here and here and what I did to swirl the seams is I just pop this seam in the middle so that all of the seams will go the same way so you'll see that in this one the seams all go clockwise and then on the opposite block they go counterclockwise but we want all the um, it lays flatter if you do it this way um, if you have questions about that, let me know in the comments and I can send you to a video where I show it um, in more detail. So I'm going to go ahead and square these um, to five and a half inches and then we'll be ready to lay out this block. It's time to lay the block out and just like here in, the, um, in my practice block, I have the one fabric on the inside of the hourglass and then the other fabric on the outside and for this block i'm going to do it just like that one and have the lighter fabric on the inside so it doesn't matter which one i choose to lay out first i'm just going to take these hourglasses and i'm going to put the lighter blue pointing toward the center of this and then i'm going to put my um the background fabric in all the empty places. So um, my fabric can be directional. So I'm just checking it <coughs> to make sure that everything is directional. And I was worried that this block would be a little dark, but I think it's good now. It's gonna be bright enough with the, uh, with the super light background. I think it's gonna be good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna stitch the rows together and um or sew the blocks into rows stitch the rows together and then i'll have a completed block again i will show you this on camera and just speed it up a little bit so that you can see the entire process Eliza star block 
I hope that the contrast shows up well on the camera. I really haven't looked at it yet to see. So hopefully it'll show up well. Um, I did a couple of quick changes. The first quick change is I switched out from the red and black and gray colorway to the blues. So you can see all of the blocks here. Friendship star, free willing star, ribbon tail star, two way star, butterfly star, variable star, open star, and now Aunt Eliza star. The other quick change I made is I put on one of my Purple Quilt Company shirts. Thank you so much to everybody who has gone to my Etsy and checked out the shirt. Uh, if you have not had a chance to, go to my Etsy. The link is going to be in the description and um, click on it. There are three Purple Quilt Company shirt designs to choose from and there is a discount code from now until August 10th. The, the discount code, I'm going to put it right here, is Vlogmas22 and it's going to get you 10% off your purchase. So here is the the quilt so far. Um, I have one more block to do and then we'll be ready to sash this baby and put it together. So stay tuned next week. Thank you so much for tuning into Vlogmas 2022. If you have any questions about what you've seen in this video, leave them in the comments below. Thumbs up this video, share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.